As president and CEO of Horseman, a company founded by educators for educators, I'm proud to honor the five recipients of the Horseman Awards for Teaching Excellence. With three sisters, three nieces, and now potentially my daughter being teachers, I know some of the challenges they face in the classroom, and I hear about the rewards that make it all worth it. Teaching is more than a job. It's a higher calling and a critical role in our society. Teachers mold our future, and for these five finalists and many other teachers, the job isn't confined to the classroom. Teachers pick their students up when they're down, give gentle guidance in the right direction, help them find their strength and overcome their weaknesses. They build teaching teams and inspire some of their own students to hear the call to the profession. And it is a noble profession that is frequently underappreciated. At Horace Mann, our mission is protecting the short-term risks and securing the long-term financial future of educators. And we make recognizing teachers a part of what we do. For more than a decade, Horace Mann has sponsored the NEA Foundation Awards for Teaching Excellence because we know how important and deserving it is to shine a light on outstanding teachers who make a difference in their students' lives and who continue to elevate the role so please join me in congratulating and honoring five individuals who have been singled out by their peers for going above and beyond and becoming this year's Horace Mann Award recipients. My name is Franny. And my name is Campbell. We're coming to you live from Bridge Creek Elementary School. But first, a message from our sponsor. Do you like great teaching? You should check out Ms. Butts. Just listen to these satisfied customers. The way that Terry helps her students to achieve is to understand the need to have a strong relationship and to know what her students' needs are, to build a relationship with her students as well as her parents. When she was nominated our Teacher of the Year, and then our district teacher of the year, she had to do a lot of speaking engagements. And I was amazed at how well she kept that up as well as her normal teaching duties. And we're back! Let's go over to Victoria for the weather. Victoria? Thanks, guys. Today's forecast is 100% chance of electrifying lessons. Let's go to Zaria with a special report on education. Thanks, guys. I'm here with the famous Miss Butt. The best part of teaching for me is being able to spend my day with so many wonderful children. And I think just having the opportunity to provide experiences, new experiences for kids every day, it just excites me. Well, what I see is she is always challenging herself to learn something that's new. Not only does she try to learn things on her own, but I think a lot of the secret to teacher success is their ability to network with other teachers and to learn from one another. She not only makes contributions in those situations, but she also learns a lot herself. Teacher Forum um, is a committee of teachers um, from District 2 that speak about different issues that we have as educators. And she's the one that speaks um, on the platform for our school and for the district um, just to get things done and to get initiatives um, passed. I think from what I understand, Richland 2's Teacher Forum had sort of fallen by the wayside. And Terry, was, as Teacher of the Year, was put on that Teacher Forum and she decided it was her mission to bring it back and to give teachers more voice. And so she really kind of single-handedly sort of took charge of that mission and um, made sure that it was a, a utilized part of our district. It's time for our musical guest to learn to laugh. Let's take it away. Yo, I like Miss Butts and I can't not lie. You other teachers can't deny when Miss Butts walks in with a lesson plan and a project in her hand. 